All right. So your brain is about to be under construction. If you're making any sort of change in your life, so you want to start working out, you want to put the root five into play, you know, you're going to be under construction. You got to know that you're going to think about a constr- like really think about a construction site. You're used to going a certain way to work, and then all of a sudden, oh, time is deviated. You're going to be late to work about five minutes because they're going to take you on this crazy detour. One time, I was detoured, and in the detour, there was another detour. It can get messy sometimes. There's rubble all over the place. There's big cones. There's big alerts and all that kind of stuff. Sometimes you hit a pothole that they didn't put a cone over. You know what I mean? So... It's okay to be messy. Know that it's going to be construction site. Know that your thoughts are going to be going wild and crazy. And they might lead you astray. They might lead you in a direction that you didn't know that they were going to lead you. That's okay. It's okay. You're going to be control certain times. You're going to know exactly where you are. Because when you have a detour in a, in a, a place that you know, when there's a construction site in a place you know, you're like, oh, let's just go this way. Let's go. Let's go. When you're in a, when you don't know where you're going, say you go, you know, <laughs> the cool part is that I'm here for you and I'm more of like Google Maps. Like I can help you go and get around these detours. So please reach out to me. Unfortunately, if you're more old school and you're doing like map quests and then you're printing out directions and then there's construction site and like the whole exit is closed and you're just like, oh my gosh, I don't know where to go. You contact me, okay? It's possible. You might feel like you're going to get stuck and... I just want to ask you this, if you say you were going like to the beach for the day or for the weekend, right? How about this? You're going to be moving. This is even more serious. Let's do this. You're going to be moving, right? And there's a detour on the way to your new house. You're in the moving van and there's a construction site. You don't know which way to go. You're new to the area. It's brandy dandy new. You have no idea what to do, but you see like a Wawa. So you go and you stop at the Wawa and you ask somebody who's from the area. Not so hard. You're not going to turn around and go back to your old house, right? So don't do that in this area either. Because I'm going to show you what's going to happen neurologically, like actually in your brain. And then you'll start to understand why sometimes it's so easy to fall back into old patterns. It's so easy to fall back into old patterns. I'm going to show you why it is. So you have some sort of stimulus, right? Actually... Let's make this like a cupcake. Yeah. Yeah. Cupcake. Okay. That's our cupcake. That's our stimulus. So it's a stimulus for lack of better terms is, is just something out there that we take into our brain and then we have some sort of thoughts, feelings, emotions, and we make an action based off of it. Right? So, uh, another thing I do want I do want to make sure you understand is a lot of the times people think something happens and then we have a reaction to it. Not so true. We, there's, a, there's something that happens, we have a thought about it, whether cognitively or subconsciously, and then we take action based off of the thought. Sometimes our actions are very quick because we rely so much on the subconscious But if we're very cognitive about it, we're very conscious about it, then we can go ahead and make a better decision based off of it and based off where we want to go because we're going to take into account more things than just whatever's the easiest. And that's what you got to think. The brain is just trying to do whatever's the easiest. Anytime you think, anytime, oh my gosh, anytime you make a decision, so when you're like scrolling in your news feed and you decide to like, you're using energy, you're using calories, your brain is using up energy and using up calories. And when it does that so many times in a day, if you decide to, you know, take a shower, you make a decision, you go to take a shower, you're using up energy, your your brain is utilizing energy to get that done. But if you go and you just allow it to use a very, very strong remembered kind of pattern. So say for instance, you have a morning routine you use a lot less energy than if you were to create a brand new routine and do something different every single day. Make sense? I hope so. Your brain's not gonna use as much energy if it does something that it's done a million times before because it doesn't have to cognitively think about. Cognitive thoughts cost more, more energy than subconscious thoughts. Cognitive thoughts cause, cost more energy than subconscious thoughts. So your brain wants to be on autopilot. 
just so your brain is actually not going to be your friend in this. You want to make it your friend, but it's going to kind of fight you a little bit. So this is what's going to happen. You're going to have a stimulus and you have some sort of thoughts associated with that. Hopefully we've been, we've been working on those thoughts. Hopefully as soon as you see the stimulus, it's going to say, whoop, conscious. So I'm going to do different colors here. This is the old pathway. Eat. Yummy. So you have thoughts like yummy, delish, nom nom, nom, right? <laughs> so these are all the thoughts that you have associated on this pathway. And this pathway is really strong because for your whole life, every time you've seen a cupcake, they're your favorite. Every time you see a cupcake, hey now, you eat it. That's a strong pathway. You have a really strong connection to eating that. So it's nice and thick. So that neuro, neuro, neuro pathway, anytime it sees this stimulus, automatically, because your brain, it's a strong muscle. Think about a muscle. So say, for instance, uh, I go to pick something up. It's gonna, it, it could be really heavy, but my bicep's really strong. I'll be able to pick it up, no problem. So same thing goes here. Pretend it's a muscle. Neuro pathway, it's very, very strong, automatic. It's the one that fires up, and it leads you to eat the cupcake. Now, you cognitively know... So you are in that action stage now. You are now trying to build a new pathway. Not eat. Or find something else. Okay? So the cool part about that is that you can create a whole bunch of different options that will land in the same neural pathway as long as you're deconstructing this one while you're building this one up. Now, this is how this actually works. When you see this stimulus, you cannot expect that this muscle, this new neural pathway is going to take over this one. He's a little guy. He's just a baby. The baby's not very strong yet. You still need some growing to do. <laughs> the baby still needs some growing to do. It needs to learn, right? It needs your help to learn. This is a this is the teenager. This is the one that thinks he knows everything, right? <laughs> so this is the one that a lot of the times you'll falter down to. You'll falter back to. And so I I actually want to talk about this. What's going to happen is we're going to go back and forth a little bit. What's going to happen is you're going to see that cupcake. The first time you're going to be like, oh, nah, I'm goo. I'm Gucci. The first time, right? The first time you can, you might be strong. So you might then go ahead and build that a little bit stronger. The cool part about building this one stronger, every time you build this one stronger, you make this one a little bit weaker. Because your brain's job is to try to create the most effective system inside the head, which is the easiest, which, which uses the less brain power, less energy, right? So this one becomes weaker. This one becomes a little bit stronger. Your brain's starting to realize you want to make a switch. What's going to happen the second time or two or three weeks in? You'll be like, mm, I've been doing real good though. You're in the conscious. You're in the conscious, right? I've been doing real good though. So maybe I can have this cupcake. I hope you saw that. So your, the really, really strong one became a little bit stronger. That one became a little bit weaker. And what starts to happen over time, and the reason why we quit, is because at some point, this one gets fully erased. And we just give in. And we let this guy win. Because work was really hard. The day was hard. You're tired. You don't want to think. You don't want to do anything. Your brain is done and over with. So it's like, hey, I'm just going to go on autopilot. And then you wake up the next morning, and this guy is like, Wait a second, wasn't there a pathway there? This guy's gone now. Was there, wasn't there, uh, well, I guess I'm done with that. And then you go ahead and you have to start back over, all right? So think about this every single time. I want you to think about this every single time you make a decision. You wanna strengthen this, strengthen this, strengthen this. And this doesn't have to be just a cupcake. It's not just a single stimulus. I do want you to work on your biggest stimulus. A lot of the times people are like, you got to get the food out of the house. You got to get rid of the stimuluses. No. I'll tell you right now. If, if uh, In the Bible, there's this awesome story where Jesus actually went into the woods to be tempted. 
What? Yeah, he went. The word actually says he went to be tempted by the devil, by Satan. Why? Why would you do? Why would you? Because the kind of strength that it would need, that would need to be displayed and the kind of strength that is going to actually happen from you allowing yourself to be tempted will make this that much stronger because now you have more opportunities to strengthen this and more opportunities to make this weak. So you'll get stronger faster the more you actually get the stimulus. If you eliminate the stimulus, there's no opportunity for any of this to happen. So don't run away from the stimulus. Don't run away from temptation. Lean into it. Grab it by the hand and say, let's go. Go ahead. Have at it. Because you know that you can do this. All right, so I hope this makes sense to you. If it doesn't, please let me know. I will make a whole nother video explaining it. Because this is really cool. This is really, really cool. Um, all right. This is where I get all geeked out. I hope you guys had a beautiful time. I hope you enjoyed all the bonuses, all the workouts and the nutrition stuff. Please go back and watch the videos again. You know, you know, faith comes by hearing. Faith comes by hearing. Faith comes by hearing. Not just hearing once, but hearing over and over again. Repetition. So reiterate these things. Build these things into your life. Listen to the videos. Ask me questions. Get involved. Talk in the group. Let's do it, y'all. I love you guys so much. I really, really do from the bottom of my heart. I really hope this stuff has lifted you up and inspired you to make changes in your life, knowing what's realistic for you and what's best for you in your life and the type of lifestyle that you have and what you want to achieve. I love you guys so, so, so much. I don't even know you, but I love you. I really do. I have a love for people. I hope you have a beautiful, beautiful time. Let me know about your stories. Let me know about what's going on. Let me know where you need help. I am totally available for you.